Hi, my friends and family. I'm Trey, and I'm talking about <clears throat> liberating from government mi governed mind control and learning freedom and equality. So, yeah, when you realize certain networks are just basically openly the dark ones and uh, the government's lies, um, why not just not watch that? I mean, you know, during the lockdown, actually, uh, the only one, since they re remodeled it, they have no internet access. But during the first part of the lockdown, I went to this wash and dry on 41st Avenue to um, go online and recharge. And they, but they had the computer their television set on CNN. So, you know, within uh, only while I was folding my clothes, I didn't have my headphones on. I started getting a little sick, feeling a little gross and wanted to talk shit after about five or six minutes of it. So, because I have Mercury and Capricorn retrograde in my natal birth chart, it's sort of like I have the old man Yahweh um, in my brain, my subconscious. And, uh, so this is one reason I, I work alone often, and this is why uh, the dark side they want to leave me alone because they they know I've you know I'm sure they know that I have the Jehovah Death Seal still in me you know and they know that and they know that I have those astrological styles that can easily you know cause me to uh, be my own dark infiltration if I'm not real careful my my brain um, just. It's not 100% clear <clears throat> clear of this deception I've spoke about in all these videos. However, since I'm willing to accept and admit the situation, the reality of the situation, acceptance is the first step to healing it. <clears throat> so, if you understand also going back to Latin or uh, phonetic history or what phonetics, uh, the study of words, pharma or pharmakia, means black magic so big pharmacia means big black magic okay all all the things they prescribe uh, when i was in the emergency room for five days i had rockefeller choose my diet and my medicines for five days i felt pretty shitty i got constipated i couldn't take a dump okay all their medicines are made out of poisons and toxins very toxic often addictive nearly always inorganic uh, of course, they shot me up with morphine when I was on the ground, so that works. Um, the newest censorship, okay? YouTube allows me to publish almost 300 videos now telling the truth and how to heal. However, they don't distribute them, huh? They refuse to distribute my videos to my subscribers um, because this is the way the CIA would prefer to deal with someone like me rather than actually harm me. More, more than that, they want to see if I'll just back off, you know, and give up, or just think that I'm a failure, just to believe I'm a failure because they gaslight me with their petroleum, uh, with their uh, petroleum big pharma black magic interest. Okay, well maybe I will go to other channels, you know, but I have to say I, I still love it for all the learning that's still available, and so. I'm thankful for YouTube for all the, the sharing I've been able to do, whether they refuse to um, allow people to know how many times I've been seen or not is beside the point, okay? And another way of putting this is um, the dark side working within YouTube, the CIA within YouTube has um, minimized my teachings. You know, when you when you have a button on your computer that makes it minimal, well, thankfully, they didn't, they only um, striked, they only got rid of one of my videos that they didn't like, that really told way too many truths they didn't want to be told, but all of my content, or a lot of my content is all minimized, basically, a good a good way of putting it, what a shadow man is like, it's like, yeah, I'm still available, but uh, you're not going to see this shining advertisement, they hide it. They ridicule me, you know, they send in the trolls. I wouldn't say they do. Someone sends in the trolls, you know, so they allow me to do my thing in a limited hangout is what they call it in the disclosure community. So this all goes back to the uh, the Mecca, the big black cube. Um, again, uh, and one of the reasons why they shadow ban me is because I'm doing this in a tent. How dare I?
Okay. So, um, so the truth about 2020 is so insane that most people still won't believe it. Is that because half to two thirds of this county or your county took the damn shot? Um, because it's also because tell lie vision can be a master con artist liar for the 3D slaves. So um, when you know, if you've studied, if you heard of this book, I mentioned the creature from Jekyll Island and you know a little bit about it, uh, you can learn that uh, they had to secretly have a meeting off the coast of Georgia, Jekyll Island. On a private train because the big boys banksters and when they created the fed they knew the american people would never let them do that crap so in my opinion there really is no debt they said after they created the fed they said to all the politicians imagine this man imagine this they said to all the senators and governors look you can write a check to yourself for however much you want. That's where the trillion dollar debt originates. Fiat currency made up, um, you know, monopoly money that's just valuable because we still believe in it and they still print it. Okay, when you understand that the guilt around the national debt is a construct of the dark ones, the Kazarian mafia, banksters, fake, okay? It's a fake guilt. There is no national debt as far as I know. Particularly when you think about all the shit that the U.S. government did for them in 2020. They ought to call the whole thing off. If they had any more morality, which they don't as far as I can tell. But um, the egocentricity, the survival mode, um, or what people call beast mode. Okay, All of these are governed mind control when you think in that way um it's the you're going into the anti-life this is where the zeta grays can pull the uh if you're if you're a narcissist or a fixed sign this is where the zeta grays can pull in the narcissistic parasite entities you got to survive you got to pay your rent pay your children's food this is the anti-life's adversary signature this is the demiurge signature okay so you know rob bresney who who said to, to vote for joe biden in 2020 and uh, you know he's a jewish shaman he calls himself and sometimes he's a wonderful hayoka and he's really poignant but i mean he lives around the bay area to we got that controlled by the socialist narrative he, he put something in a horoscope this week about that mammon was the most powerful guy yeah, right, bro. Mammon's the most powerful god, and he has no head and big arms. Well, look around. Duh! Unfortunately, he might be the most popular god, Rob, but he will never be the most powerful god because you're a Jewish Hayoka, bro. Don't you know? Mammon has no brains. He's a god with big muscles and no head. You didn't mention that in the horoscope. Okay, your God is headless, dude. Okay, so please repent from the headless, telling people the headless God is the most powerful, man. And go back to teaching them the beautiful, wonderful idea you had, a pro noia, that the universe is conspiring to shower them with blessings. Not that we have to obey the most powerful God in the world who has no head. Okay, no. The key is the emperor has no clothes. The gut has no mind, especially the government has uh, the government and the gut has no mind, especially since 2020. Okay, they've been terraf the terraforming is the new normal. They're terraforming and programming SAD seasonal affective disorder and SAD sudden death syndrome into the collective here and they're, they're doing this about every weekend lately no sun for you guys in the weekend they want to destroy santa cruz's tourism business you know and um by screwing it up with the sun so the devil is a smiling 
bold faced liar. So you know what? I say serve the devil only a shit eating grin and disassemble the mind control internally from within by strong discernment, meditations, changing routines, changing your habits, moving or traveling. I got to practice what I preach on this, obviously, or it may seem extremely difficult. Okay, racism is an alien value, is not human. Um, so, classism, classism also is a, I guess, a Anunnaki and draconian value, not human. Yahweh brings this in. But they're, you know, as long as they believe it's a value, it's you know anti-life. The demiurge needs you to believe this filth. And this is why um, the Jews and Bible thumpers are emotional energy slaves if they're orthodox, often because they can't see that it's a fake. The real creator has none of this trash. It's not a middleman. It's not trying to siphon your energy. These mental obstacles and you know the dark side can work through your habits, your friends, through towns, places you're familiar with, your comfort zone, the states you're familiar with. They can you can become controlled um, mostly by the dark ones, you know, through the through your habits, through your places. So make sure you're vigilant and recovering your truth, uh, mind, your, your true mind. Make sure you're vigilant and recovering your true mind, which isn't to be a part of the mind of Christ or Gnosis. Okay. Look at the attrition. I mean, look at how. How much attrition has gone on in these millions of years since these dark ones have been around, man. The Zetas can hide in your fears, okay? For example, you know, for me, getting an automobile, I got hit by a, a PG&E truck after they said I fell over my bicycle. I don't know what happened. I blacked out and I, can't find a, I couldn't find a lawyer around here to help me. So I probably already had a fear and hatred. Uh, thinking the Khazarian mafia through the petroleum companies um, and the government control, media monopoly control, were going to force me. You know that the car would be make me a slave for the automobile. You know the fear of being controlled by my ego through the car. But if you say career, career, you know. So I'm at the point now where I'm getting professional enough to where it might make sense to get one, right? So or so I have to look at this and say, now, is it the best choice to not get a car or is it my fear? So in my life, I'm giving you an example of what I'm going through right now in my life. Is having an automobile a pathetically stupid idea for me or is it an essential thing to let go of my egocentricity or my having to rebel? I'm not even going to ask that question about a cell phone because the cell phone is, the, uh, the was as I said, the first installation of making a humans into a, a you know a hybrid cyborg slave and it worked okay so i'm not happy about that and of course that video is certainly going to be shadow man forced microwaves they don't want you to think about that so the zetas can hide um your fears and hidden and traumas and hidden fears from trauma and they're hidden because the fear is so strong. Um, say, for example, you're a heterosexual man or a spirit that's straight in a man's body. You're not going to want to admit that you're afraid of something. This is why some of my closer friends that are wounded hate me for, um, for calling them pussies, for not being willing to ever look at this show, but because they knew that they were afraid to, to learn on the show and to heal that that there might be a, an evil spirit lurking that they could heal. So that's the first step is admitting it's there. So in the individuality blueprint um, is your, your self-responsibility. Okay. So for example, the, the term midlife crisis, moral crisis, the hidden timelines, what am I really afraid of? Um, you know, the Sagittarius is, has the foot in the mouth. If you're not careful, and sometimes it seems intentional, but it's like a mixture of intentional Hayoka spirit and the Zeta infestation. Uh, so procrastination, 
is is like it turns into an illness. 